you killed the other me. That was an accident. Is there any line you won't cross? I don't hurt children. Didn't stalk you with Shazam. Why'd you keep it? Keep what? Man, I swear, when I was playing the story mode of Injustice 2 for the first time, I thought, like, all the time, because they made so many little foreshadowings, that this is the story of redemption. I still think that Superman should get to the light side. I mean, this is what his character is all about. You know, if you watch anime, there is this... Uh, class of characters, usually it's the main character that is extremely kind or possesses those virtues that everybody is inspired on, like an ultimate goodness, he never abandons his friends, he never gives up and yara yara yara. And in anime there are a lot of characters like that, but in comics, especially in DC, there are... Uh, I only remember Superman. That's why this character is so important. This sh there should be at least one dude like that to show us the ideal that we should strive towards. I don't know what... It, how about now, but when I was reading comics a lot, before the New 52, Superman's comics were focused more on making the right choice with the abilities that he has, whether he should or should not use them in this situation, and how he should deal with it. It wasn't about overpowering your opponent, unless it was somebody really strong. His dilemmas are kind of a more emotional, that's why, you know, he's super because of the decisions that he's making. Gameplay-wise... Yeah, Superman is... Uh, a very basic character. I mean, if you have never played fighting games before, I think this is the perfect character for you to start. I think his only problems are... Well, he doesn't really have a very good reversal. Sometimes during flight, when you try to cross up somebody, weird stuff happens, and you don't know which side will Superman land on, and you can't calculate enough and you drop something. And the third one is that he doesn't have a lot of mix-ups, so basically your only overhead starter is forward 3. From what I know, I'm not a very good Superman, I'm just doing this for fun. But he has a couple of really amazing moves that do no damage, but look extremely cool. Like this. Heat vision. Focus through your pupils like a scalpel. Instant lobotomy. I think instant Superman lobotomy man. should have been his super move. They weren't really uncreative with his super in this game. Like, gee, he has so many powers and all he does is punch people? Dude, come on. I think this guy plays as Superman, so I'm gonna go for Bizarro skin. The thing is... Yeah, it is all Superman. Bizarro skin costs a lot of crystals that are very hard to get, so I assume that the game Loki wants you to buy them, make this microtransaction and gain some money, but generally... Me, I'm hero! Here to destroy! But you'll hurt innocent people! No! Me save Metropolis! 
Begin. I think that this is the only skin that is actually worth it. Nani? God damn it, I was too fast, too greedy for that punish. But anyway, if I remember correctly, there is not a single story where Pizarro ends up good, and by that I mean alive in the end of it. So, Bizarro is actually a very tragic character. He's not bad. He tries to be good, but his definition of... What? This is punishable. I don't know. We have a weird connection where a lot of stuff that should be punishable is not punishable. And I did cross up him, but Bizarro struck in the wrong direction. Reverse is his thing, after all. It would be a nice reverse flash. Should have called himself reverse Superman. But anyway, I should have had a lot of really good interactions with Red Hood because I believe right now he's having a run or had a run. I'm not sure about this. Nothing more than a nuisance. In Red Hood and the Outlaws, where he already almost died when I was last reading it. I missed the combo. Damn it! I keep forgetting to eye laser after I grab like that. Damn. Okay. But duck. The attack that I actually did to finish it, man, was actually very unsafe. It pushes you forward, but the problem is, is that it's like minus 24 on block, which is very, very punishable. You know how this ends. Bizarro love you. <laughs> Flipping opposites. And I just like the fact that sometimes he speaks normally, and sometimes it's a complete opposite. I wonder what his theme would sound like. Are we doing this? Kashimaro, you skill! Shimano best spawned! You don't die! Right now, come on! Whew. For a second there. Bizarro win. I thought my fabulous zoning skills. Won't be enough. Man, I really like the fact that you can play as a douchebag for Superman and be all zoning. And you can play Superman. as a good guy and be all up close and personal and pressure and cross ups and so on. It really makes you feel Batman. what it's like to strive to be a better person. Man, Batman vs. Superman. I didn't really want to touch this topic. Even with a 10-foot pole, I mean... Fighters approaching Gorilla City. The... Goddamn it, he took the most unepic map for that, but... Okay. But the topic of Batman vs. Superman... Goes way in the back. Begin. This will last forever. Who is better, who is stronger, who can beat who. I don't want to answer it, and I don't want to discuss it, and I don't want anyone in the comments is he saying anything about it? No wars, no, because he's Batman, because he's Superman, and blah blah blah. Just enjoy. Damn it, the cross ups. I bet he can't tell himself where this jumping to is going to land. It wasn't fast enough to convert this into the full combo. And sometimes. He lands on the back of the opponent in the corner, and sometimes he doesn't. I can't really tell what was going to happen whenever I tried to cross up opponent in the corner, which is really bad. Finally, I was trying to catch him in the air for quite some time now. That's contra my zoning. Whatever the hell was that punch? I 
won't go back to prison. I like the fact that he started from one side, then I punched him into the other side, that he punched himself into the wrong direction of that side. Overhead! Yeah! You thought I misinputed that. No, it was all a part of my plan. Man, I swear, this is the rivalry that can last forever. Truly the second best villain in Batman's villain collection. Like, if you could, if you take Joker, and then the second best villain here, Superman would be the coolest one, just because of their history in the comics in general. Getting close. I'm gonna concentrate here, because he's gonna break. Ah, my turn. I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm not dead yet. Fuck. Should I zone or should I get close? Today's zone. I'm not gonna zone. This is fucking Batman. I'm gonna go. I made a mistake. I should have zoned. I've used all my power! You know what I think that is a major part of Superman's character? Dark side. That. Oh, we're having an Superman. epic matchup. I still not sure if Darkseid is Justice League's villain or Superman's villain. But anyway, I think that the one very important thing that people don't understand about Superman's character is that holding back is just the main part about him and probably his main weakness. I mean, that's why he can't finish Darkseid in like one punch. It's probably because, you know, he has subconscious, at least pre-52, he had subconscious barriers that didn't allow him to release all of his power. That's why Lex Luthor is still alive. I mean, just because he's used to constantly restrain himself, it... Ugh. We, we could have made a laser beam war here, but I'm trying to get in close. Be a good guy. Show you some good Superman. Hmm, tried something smart, failed. Anyway, it's because he got used to restrain that those limits had rooted inside of him, inside of his mind, and he can't go full power straight from the beginning. Actually, he can't go full power at all. Even if he tries to be really angry, there is still something limiting him. But that's a part of his character. That's why Batman is still alive in the Injustice universe. It's like weightlifting without ever increasing your weights. Here we go. You know, maybe. Mentally, Superman is not a very strong person. That's why he gets mind controlled so often. He even get manipulated by Darkseid to be a pawn in Attack Earth in animated series, I think. And then they had a huge epic battle that I get to recreate. Right here.
Thank you, Rage Quit it. <laughs> I wonder if I get the win. I mean, I yeah. When you get them down, Superman wins. To that kneeling animation, nothing can take away your win. Oh, well, maybe Elder Gods can't.